Um, hello everybody, uh, this is Mohit. I just want to show you uh, real quick uh, how to help your child use the Google Meet uh, for our online classrooms. So there are a number of ways uh, you can access the class. So A, you can go to your calendar, Google Calendar, and the class will appear here. You can click on it, and when you click on it, there is also this uh, link over here, Google Hangouts Meet, and if you click it, it will bring you to this uh, Google Meet here. And uh, here, you still have to press join now. And when you do that, you get into the class with the teacher, Ms. Sarina. Hi, Ms. Sarina, how are you? Yeah. I'm good, how are you? Good, so that's one way to do it. The other way to do it is I'm gonna cancel this real quick. And you can go to your browser and just go to meet.google.com. And when you do that, it will show you what your Google Meet is there for today, which is right here. It shows up. You click it. Same thing. And then it starts your camera, and you can say, join now. And boom, you're in the class. So that's how uh, you can join the Google Meet. Uh, remember to check the calendar of the person who got the invites. It's probably the mom or the dad. So make sure you're on the right uh, email address. Um, now, how can you how can you check that? So, if you are on uh, the calendar here, you can see click here and it'll tell you whose Google account you're logged in as, right? So may maybe if you have multiple accounts, then those accounts will show up here. So you you might have also received the Google uh, invitation in your spam or junk folder. So don't uh, please uh, look at that as well. Now, right? So here you are with the teacher. Um, your students, your child is with the teacher. Now the child needs to share the screen. So what you do is you scroll to the bottom, and when you uh, when you scroll to the bottom, this banner appears, and right in this banner there is present now. So you click present now. This opens up. Usually we recommend that they share the entire screen. This this way, if there's something else going on on the computer screen, we can see what it is. So click on your entire screen. It'll give you the options. So click on the correct screen. Usually it's screen one, unless you have multiple monitors, as I do. And then, there you go. So now, that's the screen that you're presenting that the teacher and anybody else in the class can see. So one thing that I also like to do is I go here to more options, and I change this to full screen. And then there is also the ability you can change the layout. So if you change the layout, to tiled, now you can, if there are other kids in the class, you can see all of them, right? So this is how you share the screen. Now you want to unshare the screen. That means you want to stop sharing the screen. Then you click on this button and say, stop sharing. And now uh, you stop sharing. Now, next thing I want to cover is how to mute and unmute. So again, if you want to mute, you click this. This, this red icon says that you've muted. Now nobody can hear you. And if you press this again, now this gets unmuted, right? And what I would also recommend that the student does is click on this icon here, and then you see the teacher, and make sure that you uh, click over here and you pin the teacher. Because if you pin the teacher, then what happens is even if you have multiple students in the class, you'll always see the teacher. Um, anything else you wanna add, Ms. Serena? Accessing the chat. Yes. So, can you send me a chat message so I can see what how it looks like? Yes. So here your chi your uh, child is doing the work, and then this is the chat icon, and they see something in green. Boom! You click it, and the chat opens up. And right here, they can type something. Now, the chat is important because this is where the teacher will send you will send to your child. Any worksheets, any tests, any answer keys, and stuff like that. Um, the next thing I want to show you is the Google Jamboard. So give me one minute. I'm going to change this to a zip full screen. And you can open up another link here and go to jamboard.google.com. Um, now, usually, what will happen is that the teacher will create a Jamboard and share it with the students in the chat. So, Ms. Serena, if you want to create a Jamboard and um, share it with me so I can open it up. 
Let's say you, you want to teach me how to, you know, tell time. How do you do that? There you go. So the Jamboard appears here. I can just click, click on it again. And there you go. Now, now I'm in Jam. So the Jam. So that is the one. So, that's so I can say, what's the minute hand? The Points minute hand is 2. Oh, sorry, 12. And then the hour hands? At 2. So it would be what time? It will be 2 o'clock. Yep. There we go. So as you can see, these are the various tips and, uh, tips and tricks of uh, Google Meet and Google Jamboard that we wanted to share with you. Um, again, this is, uh, uh, our, this is going to get better and better with every class. If you have any questions, uh, please let us know. Um, if you have a class and you are unable to log in, please email uh, us uh, immediately, and uh, we'll we'll get we'll call you and uh, try to figure out uh, what the issue is. All right, thank you very much.